hello precious one welcome back to my channel and to my newbies welcome please subscribe to my channel like my videos and share with your family and friends guys today i'm making this video because of a video i saw on ig instagram where a lady was proposing to her guy or her man and it was very uncomfortable for me to watch i don't know if it is only me but let's talk is it good for a lady to propose to a man is it good for you as a lady to go on your knees to ask a man to marry you you know there's something odd about this i don't know if it's only me and i'm not coming after those who are doing this it's only me unapologetically taking my stand on this case that a man should ask a woman to marry her not the other way around gradually this is flipping you know it is turning this responsibility is turning there are tons of tons of ladies out there who are proposing to their men listen i'm not saying you are wrong no love doesn't ask why i'm not saying you are wrong but embrace your femininity you are a woman let a man come after you you know some people do say that it is not written in the bible as a christian woman too quote that this verse says that a man should propose to me and not the other way around. But come on, in the Bible, you can only see um, um, Abraham took Sarah, you know, Jacob took Rachel. All the men were taking the women. So you should know that it is a man's duty to ask a woman to marry him. Listen, the Bible says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the lord so you are a favor so the man should come after you the man should ask you to marry him to be favored not the other way around please don't go out there to propose to your man you know come on embrace your femininity be the queen that you are you know the bible also tells us to submit to them so if it is not a man leading why should i submit to him you have to you have to come for me all right let me ask you this ladies if you propose to a man don't you think you are taking his um duty to, i don't know you are taking his responsibility you are doing something that a man should have done it is in their nature to chase it is in their nature to um possess something so if you propose to a man how are you going to um i don't know this whole thing i don't know if it is only me but hey a lady should just be a lady and a man should be a man it is your man who has to propose to you it is your man who has to go on his knees to ask you to marry him it is a man who marries the woman not the other way around okay fine let's just take it like this all right that you are a mother your son uh, comes to the house one day to introduce his girlfriend or his whatever to you all right and you and introduce this girl to you that hey this is the woman i'm going out with and uh, okay right so you ask the person all right so where did you meet uh, how did this happen all right so we met at so so and so place and we've been going out for six months four months a year now and yes yesterday she proposed to me what oh no 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 son i think you're making a mistake you proposed to her or she proposed to you mom she proposed to me so sorry but how are you, what are you going to think about that particular lady are you going to accept a lady who proposed to your son as your daughter-in-law you know there are a lot of things are going to run in your mind let's face reality an African mother, the first thing that will come into your mind as an African mother is this girl is bad. No, this is not a wife material. Girl, you are going to prevent your child from going on with this particular lady because you will assume that she is. Again, I'm sorry for those who are doing this, okay? Love doesn't ask why. You love what you're doing, so I'm not against you, right? But I'm talking from my own perspective. For me, a man should propose to a woman, not the other way around. So an African woman, from where I'm coming from, the first thing the mother will think of the girl is that the girl is cheap. She wasn't raised well. She doesn't have good manners. 
or maybe she is desperate. You know, a lot of things will come into your head. Ladies, for you to avoid all these things, for the man, and listen, if you propose to a man, maybe a few of them, it is just a few of them who are going to appreciate it and then will be proud of it. I don't think any man will proudly stand and say that my woman proposed to me. I don't know. Maybe I can get, I will get a man on this channel, all right, to tell us how they will feel, how he will feel if a woman should propose to him. And if he is going to be proud about it and stand somewhere and announce it that, hey, my woman proposed to me, my woman is getting married to me. Nah, it doesn't sound right. A woman getting married to a man. A man getting married to a woman. Listen. As a woman that you are, you are a favor. If a man gets you, he is highly favored, all right? So let him come for you. As a woman, you have to wait for the man to propose to you. There are a lot of ways that a woman can tell a man that, hey, I'm interested in you without opening your mouth, all right? So there are men that are very shy when it comes to them telling you that they like you. So you will know this man is not married. It's a, uh, he's a God-fearing man, he is a hard-working man, and you are interested in this man. You know yourself that this man is also interested in you, but hey, they are not saying anything. There are a lot of things that you would do as a woman to tell them that you are also available and you are interested. There are a lot of ways. Maybe the way you will talk to them, the way you will look at them, the way you, you, the way you behave when they are around, for them to know that you are also available and you are interested in them. Maybe you will see them doing something and then you go and like, hey, let me help you with it. I'm not saying you should visit them more often in their house because it can result in something that we are trying very much to prevent as Christians, all right? So maybe you can find something that they like and you get yourself involved in it. There are a lot of ways that a woman, you have a lot of potential. There are a lot of ways that you can tell a man that, hey, I am available and I like you without opening your mouth. Let a man do it, all right? Let him do it. Let him come for you. Let him propose to you. Let him get married to you so that you'll be able to submit to him. If you do all these things yourself, that means you become the head. When the Bible says the man is the head, you will become the head. So let him do all these things, all right? Let him love you so that you can also um, submit yourself to him. Be the woman that you are created to be. Listen, womanhood is very beautiful. All the time I ask myself, hey, if I was created a man, I don't think I would be able to uh, propose to a woman because when he proposes and he says no, it is uh, <laughs> very embarrassing. So hey, be a woman, all right? Be there, let a man come to you and then propose to you. It is very beautiful, trust me. It is very beautiful. Don't go after your man. It speaks a lot of things about you that you are not, all right? So let him come to you and propose to you. Let him get you for himself so that he will be highly favored. Then there are men who even use it to insult. I know a woman who got alone to marry a, woman, a man and then um, when they were married, the man was using it to insult this woman. Listen, I went, you were the one who um, got a loan to marry me. And he was even calling his wife <laughs> using the bank's name. All right. It is very bad. Woman, don't do this. All right. Let him come to you. So now that you have proposed to him, what else? What are you going to do? Are you going to be the man for him to be the woman? Come on, let us leave them to be the men that they are. Let us also embrace the woman that we are. We are very precious, very tender, very beautiful. Very, we are very precious, guys. Let the men come after us, not the other way around. Don't take your husband's responsibility. Don't flip their cuts. Don't do otherwise. Be the woman that you are. Let him also be the man that he is so that you have a beautiful and happy home thanks so much for watching guys always remember that you can only be the best version of you in christ jesus stay blessed take good care of yourself and don't wait to get a reason before you get happy be happy all the time because happiness is a medicine for the body and the soul as well thanks for watching see you next time in my next video